Are you taking a cruise from Vancouver and wonder about the Vancouver Cruise Terminal? Well, today we're going to tell you all you need to know about the Vancouver Cruise Terminal. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm Rick. And I'm Andrea. This week we are traveling on Rick's hometown of Vancouver, Canada, visiting friends and family. And we decided to record a video for you for explaining all you need to know about the Vancouver Cruise Terminal. Right, so today we're going to do a totally different video. You know, not about Italy. Rather, we're going to tell you all you need to know about the Vancouver Cruise Terminal. But first, if you like travel-related videos or happen to find us just the least <laughs> bit entertaining, <laughs> we invite you to go ahead and smash that subscribe button so that you'll never miss any of our future videos. Thank you. So let's begin. Where is Vancouver Cruise Ship Terminal and how to get there? The cruise ship terminal in Vancouver is right downtown at Canada Place, a few steps away from most of the city's downtown attractions. From the airport, the cheapest and most convenient way to reach the Vancouver cruise port is by SkyTrain. The SkyTrain is Vancouver equivalent of a metro system. You can take the Canada Line from YVR Vancouver International Airport all the way to the Vancouver cruise ship terminal in under 37 minutes, and you will arrive at Waterfront Station, right in front of the cruise ship terminal. The trip will cost you about $10 per person including a $5 surcharge for train leaving from YVR. And this, of course, is the time of this recording. You can pay by using your phone or tap on your credit card, or buy a ticket to the machine. Obviously, you can take the SkyTrain in both directions, so if your cruise starts in Alaska and ends in Vancouver, the best way to go back to the YVR airport is to take the SkyTrain. All right, so your second option to reach the cruise terminal from the airport is by taxi. Taxi from the airport to the cruise terminal has a fixed rate of $38 Canadian at the time of recording, and it'll take between 35 and 55 minutes, depending on how crazy the traffic is at that time of day. Now, there's also Uber for all of you that prefer to use that. Lastly, if you want a trouble-free way to reach the Vancouver Cruise Terminal from the airport, you can always use the cruise line transfer itself. But in our experience, you know they're very expensive and they don't give you the flexibility that the independent transportation options will give you. I suppose... You know, the only time you'd want to use this is if you have, let's say, mobility issues or if you needed to get to the cruise, you know, to the cruise terminal on a short schedule. But otherwise, take a, take a taxi or a SkyTrain because I think those are your best bets. Moving on to our next topic is which cruises can I take from Vancouver? Vancouver Cruise Terminal is one of the most important hubs for Alaska cruises. In fact, almost every major cruise line offers an Alaska cruise starting from Vancouver. The most popular routes are the seven days one way from Vancouver to Alaska or vice versa, from Alaska to Vancouver. But there are also return from Vancouver to Alaska and back in seven days. From Vancouver, you can also catch a cruise to California coast or cruise to Hawaii. Or some of our favorite cruises that you can catch from Vancouver are repositioning cruises. Yep. In fact, a few years ago, we took a 21 days Panama Canal cruise from Vancouver and it was fantastic, all the way to Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, we and absolutely loved, loved that it. One. Yep. Now, since most of the cruises from Vancouver are Alaskan cruises, they run between uh, you know, the mid to end of April to the beginning of October. And during the winter months, the cruise terminal well, it's usually closed. You know, you can go and visit it, right? Also, like we said before, almost every single cruise line has departures from Vancouver, except on today, <laughs> day, of course. Um, but the most common ones include Princess Cruises, Celebrity, Hall in America, NCL, and of course, Royal Caribbean. Our next topic is where to stay by the Vancouver Cruise Terminal. If you come to Vancouver to catch a cruise, we strongly recommend spending one or two nights exploring this beautiful city before taking a cruise. That being said, be aware that Vancouver is very expensive. <laughs> How about that $10 coffee? <laughs> yeah. 
Fortunately, the cruise terminal is in the middle of downtown and offers plenty of options for accommodation. So the most convenient of all is the Pan Pacific Hotel, which is right on top of the cruise ship terminal. Also, the Fairmont waterfront is just across the street to the Vancouver ship terminal and is very, very convenient. Both these hotels are considered a luxury hotel and they can cost up to 500 Canadian dollars per night or about 380 US dollars per night. So they're quite, quite pricey. Yeah, absolutely. But um, if you move away from the waterfront area, you can find some less pricey options. Um, for example, there's the Moda Hotel, which offers some rooms for about 250 Canadian dollars during the same time period. And even and if you want even more budget-friendly hotels, you'll need to move outside of the city center. And if you do, we recommend you pick a hotel close to a SkyTrain station. This way it'll make your commute to the city center all that much easier. Of course. Moving on to our next topic is how the Vancouver Cruise Terminal works. So once you arrive at the terminal, you have to go to the back drop off area. This area is located in the lower level of the terminal. From there, you will then be directed to your cruise line check-in counter. After that, you will clear U.S. custom here and immigration here in Vancouver. So when you arrive in Alaska, you don't have to do it again and you're free to go. Immigration might take quite a long time at this terminal, especially when there's more than one cruise ship in town. For this reason, we strongly recommend you to reach the port as soon as the check-in opens to avoid a very, very long wait at the terminal. Yeah, really good advice. All right, so our next topic on the Vancouver cruise port is, are there any food options near the terminal? Well, yes, there are plenty of food options at the Vancouver cruise terminal. You can pick from some of the most exclusive restaurants in the city that are just a few steps away from the terminal, or you could choose some of the more affordable and low key options that are all a few steps away from the port. Also, just across the street from the cruise ship terminal, on the lower level of the Fairmont Waterfront Hotel, there you'll find a food court with um, a wide variety of options uh, for, you know, some fastish food. Moving on to our next topic, we can talk about where can I get some local currency near the Vancouver ship terminal. Mm. Vancouver being in Canada uses Canadian dollar as currency. American dollars are not usually accepted at stores and restaurants, and if they are, they actually charge you a premium for using the US dollar. Yeah, so, you don't get a really good rate no. at all. Also, you won't need too much cash with you, because in Vancouver you can use your credit card for almost everything. Maybe $20. Maybe. That's it. <laughs> but if you really want some cash, we have some uh, option for you. First, we strongly recommend you do not use the currency exchange store you will find around the city. These usually are charges to a premium to convert your dollars. Your best option would be to use a local bank and withdraw from the ATM with some money over there. Mm -hmm. Also, we strongly recommend you to check out an online foreign exchange company like WISE. Uh, WISE is an online currency exchange platform that'll help you convert well, practically any currency at some of the cheapest rates that we could find. And uh, we use it ourselves uh, every month. And we'll go ahead and leave a link for you in the description below. All right, so our next topic about the Vancouver cruise ship terminal is, what is there to see close to the terminal? Well, the cruise terminal in Vancouver is strategically located within walking distance of some of the most famous attractions in the city. Uh, the first, uh, the cruise ship terminal itself, well, they have the Flyover Canada experience. And there you get to see the highlights of Canada all in one shot. From above. Yes. Also, the most famous area for tourists to explore is just at the east of the terminal called Gastown. Yeah. And this is the oldest part of the city. And I would say it has, uh, you know, some of the oldest and perhaps some of the more charming buildings in cobblestone streets in old Vancouver. In the area, you can find plenty of souvenir stores, restaurants, and most of all, the most famous attraction, 
the steam clock. <laughs> this steam clock is supposed to whistle every half hour and the steam comes from the top, but in experience, it could happen at any point. On the west side of the terminal, you can find the modern and luxurious area of Cole Arbor, with its beautiful buildings and seawall. In this area, you'd find some of the float planes that take passengers to Whistler and the Vancouver Island. You can find some restaurants and as well as a whale watching tour that are pretty incredible. We have left the link in the description below for you if you want to take a look at the whale watching. Yeah, find out a little something bit more. that you should definitely do while in Vancouver. So, moving down the seawall, you'll also be able to visit Vancouver's most famous place, and that is Stanley Park. This massive park in the city center is the perfect place to go for a walk or rent a bike and ride around the 10 kilometer seawall that surrounds the park. Also, in the park, you can also visit the Vancouver Aquarium. And if you want to know about our Vancouver attraction, check the link in the description below. We left you something for more distant attraction from the cruise ter That's right. terminal. And if you're in a shopping mood, um, well, just five blocks south of the cruise ship terminal, you're going to find Pacific Center, one of Vancouver's best shopping malls. In here, you can find a great variety of stores and a nice food court, as well as a brand new Apple store. And if you're into that sort of thing. Also, just outside the mall, you can find Robson Street, the main shopping street in Vancouver, which is worth checking out. So let's move on to our last topic. Is Vancouver Cruise Ship Terminal safe? Hmm. The Vancouver Cruise Ship Terminal is really safe. In fact, Vancouver as a whole city is quite safe. The only area we strongly recommend not to visit is the east of Gastown. Right, just like before, the edge of Gastown, stop yeah. there. That area is a little problematic, and we strongly suggest you stay away. And here we are. We are at the end of Gastown. Now, you might want to know, how do we know we're at the end of Gastown? Well, all you got to do is check out the Flatiron Building behind us. No, this is not the Flatiron Building in New York City. No, nope. this is the more beautiful one in Vancouver. So this is the extent of Gastown you want to do. After this, it gets a little rough around the edges. So don't pass this, just uh, walk in this area, it's quite beautiful and enjoy. All right, let's go. Now, if you do find the downtown core a little intimidating or uncomfortable, there's always a hop on hop off bus that'll take you all over town so that you can explore the city quickly and enjoy it. <laughs> Well, folks, that's it for you today. We hope you enjoyed this video and gave us a thumbs up. And as usual, if you happen to see us out and about, as they say in Canada, don't hesitate to say hi. And on that note, if you have any questions, leave us a comment below. We love to hear back from you and write back to you. In the meantime, we'll see you on our next video. Ciao. Ciao.